So in this video, we're going to look at a few examples um, of circles being tangents to the axis and the problems we can solve with them. So it tells us here that a circle is a tangent to both positive axes, that the radius of the circle is equal to 5, and it's asking us for the equation of the circle. So the best thing to do here would be to draw a little sketch, which I'm going to do here. So we're going to have the y-axis and the x-axis. I'll redo that line there. There we go. Um, and then we have a circle of radius 5. So it's going to be a dodgy enough circle, but it'll do the job. Um, so the circle is a radius 5, and it's asking us for the equation of a circle. So we know that the radius is equal to 5, so that means that line there is 5, and that line there is 5. Yeah, so that means that, and what it means by tangent to both positive axes is it's in this corner here. So if it was not both positive axes, then it could be here, here, or here, but they told us both positive axes. So we know that this is, the center point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 across, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. So that means the center point, write that, the center point has to be 5, 5. And now that we have the center point and the radius of the circle, we can find the equation of the circle handily enough. So I'm going to write x minus h squared plus y minus k squared uh, is equal to or squared. So that means it's going. we're going to have x minus 5 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 25. And that's the equation of that circle there. All right? And uh, move on, I'll do another question. So that was just a quick one. So here we have a second example. Uh, a circle has a center point of 3 minus 4. The x-axis is a tangent to the circle, and it's asking us to find the equation of the circle. So again, the best thing to do would be to draw a quick sketch out. So this will do here. So we're going to have 1, and we're going to have 2. So here's our x-axis, and here is our y-axis. So our y-axis. So I'm going to again draw a circle. So the center point is going to be about 3 minus 4. So it's going to be 3 out on the x-axis and minus 4 down on the y-axis. Okay, so that's the center point, And it's going to be a tangent. The x-axis is a tangent to the circle, all right? So it's going to look something like this. We're going to draw the tangent bit first. And it's all going to go around this. So again, this isn't perfectly accurate. So the circle won't exo look exactly like this. But uh, all we really need to know is that the tangent point and the center point here, just a rough idea, okay? So we know that this, is, this point is 3 and minus 4, okay? So if this is minus 4 down on the y-axis, so that means this is minus 4, minus, two, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, and then 0. So that means the distance between the center point and the x-axis is going to be 4, yeah? So obviously it's minus 4, but a distance can't be minus, so the distance itself is going to be 4, so I'm going to draw that in. That distance there is going to be 4, and that means that's also the radius, right? So that means that or is equal to 4. So if you do want to remember, you can say that or is equal to the modulus of um, so the modulus of minus f. So that means or would be equal to the modulus of 4, which is again equal to 4. So if you want to remember it that way, but I think drawing a sketch is probably an easier way. So we know that or is equal to 4. So that means we can um, we can write the equation of the circle then. So now the equation of the circle again is going to be x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared is equal to or squared, where h and k are the center of the circle. So that means we're going to have x minus 3 squared plus y, and it's going to be minus k, and k is equal to minus 4, so it's going to be plus 4 squared is equal to 16. Okay, so that's the equation of that circle. Uh, and again, hopefully that makes sense that it's much, like it is easier if you do that, but it, it's kind of hard to remember if it's minus f or f or g or whatever. So it's much easier to draw a little sketch, I think, anyway. And um, you won't have to learn anything off. So the last question we're going to try now. Okay, so here's our last example. Circle has a center of minus 3 and 2. It says the y-axis is a tangent to the circle, and it asks us to find the equation of the circle. So again, like every other time, we're going to draw a quick sketch. So in this case, it's going to be like this here, and like this here across. So this is our x, and this is our y, and if it's minus 3, 2, so that means the x value is going to be minus 3, and the y value is going to be 2, so say the circle is somewhere over there, um, and it's going to be a tangent to the x-axis, so again, 
maybe something like that there, okay? So I'll just scribble in that minus three, two is the center here. So minus three and two. So we know that this is minus three on the x-axis, so it goes back one, two, or sorry, back here, so it goes minus one, minus two, minus three. So minus three, minus two, minus one, and then zero. So that means it's three away from the y-axis down here, and the same up here, it's gonna be three away. So that means that distance there is gonna be three, and that means that the radius is gonna be equal to three. So I'm gonna just stick that straight into the formula of a, a circle. So again, x minus h squared plus y minus k ooh, squared is equal to r squared. So that means our circle is gonna be x plus three squared. So remember, if h is equal to minus three, then minus h will be plus three. Then y minus two squared is equal to nine. And that's the equation of this circle, all right? So there we saw some examples of how we could use um, the information about a circle being a tangent to an axis to help us find the equation of that circle. So we're gonna do the same in the next video. It's gonna be just a more difficult example. So again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see you next time.